Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool Vinca bracelet, which is this one, and then the variation, which is this one. I'll be showing you how to do both of them in this video. Um, so you can go ahead and skip past this one if you want to make this one or just do this one or make them both. It's up to you. Um, but this was designed by Light Loomer on Instagram. I will bring up their profile here in just a second. So it is Light Loomer, just like this. And then you can just go ahead and check out all of his posts and follow him and all that good stuff. So I will have his name in the description box below. So make sure to check him out. Give him a follow for me. And to make this bracelet, you're going to want a hook. I'm going to use a double-ended crochet hook. You're also going to want some bands and a C-clip. And I'm going to start by showing you how to make the original one. So for the gray that I used in this bracelet, which is the borders, I will be using pastel blue today. Then for the uh, lime green jelly, sorry, I will be using the light mint pastel. For the neon green, which is kind of in the center, I will be using pastel yellow. And then for the black, I will be using uh, this brown from the pink camouflage pack. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. First thing you're going to do is start with a 10 loop setup. So um, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much just making a fishtail stitch until you have 10 loops on your hook. Also, sorry if my hands are orange. I did have ceramics today, so the clay kind of stains my hands. Uh, but anyway, take a cap band, pull a band through, just lift one of those loops. And, oops, that came undone. I hate when that happens. Makes it so much more difficult. Go ahead and do this on the other side. So slide this down. I'm actually going to scoot this back a little bit. There we go. Lift the other end of that cap band and put three more. Again, happened again. Go ahead and put three more loops on. Putting it really difficult because I don't usually use this hook, so I'm not very coordinated with it. Okay. So then once you have 10 loops, you're going to want to take one of your pastel yellow bands. And I'm going to go ahead and try and move something off the side here. You can take one of your pastel yellow bands, pull it through the first four loops here. But before you pull it through the fifth loop, you're going to want to cross this middle band here over and then pull that crossed band over. So you're going to pull it through the first five and make sure that two of those are crossed. It doesn't really matter which way, I just find it easier to do it this way. Then you're going to pick up the second loop here, so skipping that crossed band, picking up the second loop, and then these outer two. And then rearrange that so it's on the outside just like so. Then take one of your pastel mint bands. You're going to pull this through the first four loops and you're going to lift these outside three and then rearrange those blue again so that they're on the outside. Once you have this, go ahead and slide this down to the other end and repeat. Taking another one of your yellow bands through the first five. All five of those should be uh, blue. Going to lift the second loop the fourth loop and the fifth loop, which are those outer two loops. Then you're going to go ahead and grab a pastel mint through the first four and lift the outer three and then again rearrange those blue. And now take note of which way you cross this blue band down here. So I took this band over top, so I'm going to take this mint band here going to pull it over three loops, so over those two center yellows and over that other mint band, and you're going to grab that other end and push it back over. So pretty much you want it crossed, but you want it crossed over those two center yellows. Now you're going to take your center band, which I'm using brown for again, and you're going to pull this through all these loops up to the mint band. You're going to lift the center two yellow, making sure that your bands are still crossed, and you're going to lift the outer four. Put that back on and rearrange so that all of 
these bands here are outside of the brown. And if you rearrange, make sure that this yellow band kind of crosses over the mint, just like so. And it might look a little bit weird right now, but you can go ahead and pull on those bands. We'll fix it. And it will get fixed kind of automatically when you do the border. So for the border, you're going to take a blue band through the first five. You're going to ignore those yellow ones. You're going to pick up the first loop, which is the brown, the third loop, which is the mint, and the fifth loop, which is the other blue. And you are going to take another, oops, another blue. I just got a text, sorry. Through the first four loops, you're going to lift the outer one. And then you're going to go to the other end and do that again. Take two more bands. Take this first band through the first five. Lift the first the third and the fifth, taking, whoops, drop it every time, taking your second blue band through the first four, lifting just the outer one. So you should have something like this. You'll have four blue loops on each side and then one yellow loop for each of the sides here. So what you're going to go ahead and do now is we're not going to cross any bands or anything just like we did at the beginning. This is where your sequence starts. So you're going to go ahead and take a yellow band, pull this yellow band through the first five loops. Similar to what we did at the beginning, you're going to pick up the second, the fourth, and the fifth. But you're not going to be crossing this previous yellow band with the other one. That was only for the start. Next you're going to take a pastel band your pastel mint band, these are almost all pastel bands. You're going to pull it through the first four and lift the outer three. Again, rearranging that blue so it's on the outside. Now go ahead and slide this down to the end of your hook, or the other end of your hook. Turn this around and we're going to do the same thing. Taking another yellow through these first five, lifting the second, the fourth, and the fifth. And then rearrange that. Now take a light mint band through the first four, mm. lifting the outside three again. I'm getting texts. I'm going to throw my phone away. <laughs> um, anyway, once you get to this point, make sure that you know which way your band's crossed. If you flipped your hook around the same time I did, it should be crossed this way. So you're going to take this mint band again, crossing it over not only those two yellows, but also that third mint band here. And then taking this mint, oops, drop that, this mint band and pull that over the yellows. So now it should be crossed over those two yellows, just like so. You're going to take your brown band through these first uh, eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, through the first eight bands. You're going to make sure that your bands stay crossed and in the right order, which these don't seem to be doing, but you're going to try and rearrange that if it's being difficult. You're going to pick up those two center yellow bands and then the outer four. Rearrange all of that so that the only thing in the middle of your brown are those two yellows. And once you're at this point, you can go ahead and add the border. So again, taking two bands for each side, which is your blue bands. You're going to take your first band, pull this through the first five, lifting the first, the third, oops, and the fifth. Taking your second band through the first four, lifting the outer one, just like so, just like we did before. Now slide this down, turn it around, and do the same thing. So taking this blue band through the first five, lifting one, three, and five, band through the first four, lifting the outer one. So again, you should have something like this. I'll show you this one more time so that you can get the process because it can get a little confusing. Um, but then I'm gonna show you how to make the variation. So what you're going to do, again, once you're at this point, is you're gonna take your yellow band, 
through the first five loops. You're going to lift the second loop here, and then the fourth and the fifth. We arrange those two blues so that they're on the outside. You can pull on this outermost one if you want. Then you're going to take your mint band through the first four, lift the outer three, and then rearrange those outer two. Now go ahead and slide this down. And we're going to do the same thing. So let me get my bands here. I'm going to take your yellow through the first five. Again, make sure your bands stay in order, otherwise your bracelet will turn out a little bit weird. You're going to lift the second, the fourth, and the fifth. And then rearrange those outer two. And then you're going to take your green, or your mint, sorry, through the first four, lifting the outer three, and rearrange those two blue. Now, take this mint, cross it over these three bands here. Oops. It sometimes helps if you hold on to it like so, while you're grabbing this other band, so that you can move them over without having to lose them. Also, I try to untwist that. Then you can go ahead and take your brown band through the first eight loops. You're going to skip the first one, but you're going to lift these two yellows, again making sure that your mint band stay crossed, and lifting the outer four. Now go ahead and rearrange. Go ahead and pull on those if you need to. And we're going to do the border. So again, through the first five, lifting the first, the third, and the fifth. Then another band through the first four, only lifting that outer one. Then slide that down. Take your next bands. First one through the first five, first, third, and fifth. Second one through the first four, lifting the outer one. So this is what you're going to continue to do all the way down um, until you reach the length that you want. And um, go ahead and skip to the end so I can show you how to finish it off. Otherwise, um, that's going to do it. So, to finish this off, you're going to take a blue band through all of these bands here. You're going to lift this first and this third band. You're going to go to the other end and lift this third to last and very last band. So now you should have six loops. Take one more blue band through all six and attach both ends. Now here you can attach your C-clip, which I have here, because I'm going to be showing another one, another video. So just attach your clip and attach it to the cap end, and this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to make this variation. So the variation is a, a couple of steps different, it's not too different from this, um, but I'm going to be using the same colors just so I can compare and contrast these. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the variation now. So, for the sparkle maroon that I used in this bracelet, I'll be using blue, pastel blue, just like I used in the other one. So to start with that, you're going to cap a band and start with a 10 loop setup just like we did before. So, putting three fishtail bands onto each side. And then slide this down. And do three fishtail bands onto the other side. And you're going to cross these two center bands, just like we did in the beginning of the other bracelet, just like so. And now we're going to take this um, white Persian band, sorry, I couldn't think of the name, this white Persian band, which I used yellow for in the last bracelet. Today I'm using yellow again, or same day, but I'm using yellow again. You're going to pull this through the first five loops, just like we did on the other bracelet. But before but we're not going to lift the same bands. We're going to actually lift the first band as opposed to the second band. 
and then you're going to lift the fourth and the fifth. So rearrange those outer two. And now you're going to take a mint band, which is the cocoa in this bracelet. You're going to pull that through the first four and lift the outer three. So one of the differences in this bracelet is you lift the first band as opposed to the second band. But I will continue on the other side here. You're going to do the same thing. Taking a mint and a yellow, take your yellow first through the first five. You're going to lift this first band and the fourth and the fifth. Then you're going to take your mint band through the first four loops. You're going to lift the outer three and rearrange again. So once you have this, again make sure you know which way your bands cross. Take your mint over these three. Take your mint over those two. Just like so. And this band is a little bit out of order, but I will fix that in a second. I'm going to take your center band here, which I used the Mother of Pearl Dual Layer from Tropical Mix Pack. And you're going to pull that through the first eight loops. Going to lift the center two yellows, just like we did on the original bracelet. And you're going to lift the outer four, just like so. Go ahead and rearrange that everything is on the outside except for those center two um, yellows. And my yellow band kind of popped out of where my mint band is, so I'm going to rearrange that. These cocoa bands do look a little bit weird when you're having them on the hook, so don't worry about that. What you're going to do is take your blue bands, now your border bands, through the first five. Just like in the last bracelet, lift the first, the third, and the fifth. Another band through the first four. And lift the outer one. Same thing on the other side, so slide that down. Turn it around, band through the first five, lift the first, the third, and the fifth. Another band through the first four, lifting the outer one. So it's going to look a little bit different here, and it'll look a bit more different as we go along the bracelet. So now what you're going to do is just like we did in the other bracelet, start the process here. Going to go ahead and take a yellow band and pull it through the first five. But before um, you start really doing anything, you're going to lift this first band, which is the yellow band, so it's going to get kind of stretched out. You're also going to lift those outer two bands, rearrange. Now take your cocoa or your mint band through the first four and lift the outer three. This is going to create a bit of a different look, pulling this um, yellow band up a little bit farther. Go ahead and turn that around. And taking one more mint, one more yellow, through the first five, lifting the first band, and then the fourth and the fifth bands, taking a mint through the first four, lifting the outer two, or outer three, sorry, rearranging the outer two. Now again, crossing your bands in the same way that you have been the entire bracelet, so go ahead and cross those whichever way. And just make sure that those bands are kind of in order. You're going to take your brown band through this first eight, lift the center two, and the outer four. So rearrange those outer four, just like so. If your band gets twisted, just try and untwist it here. Then we're going to take the blue, the border bands, through, oops, this is messed up, came undone, so I'm going to fix that, pull your blue through the first five loops, going to lift the second, or the, sorry, the first, the third, and the fifth, then your blue band through the first three, first, first four, oh my gosh, I can't concentrate anymore, picking up the outer one. Slide this down to the other end. Take your blue band 
through the first five, lift the first, the third, and the fifth. Taking this other blue band, oops, I just lost that. Taking your other blue band through the first four, lifting the outer one. So you're going to continue this all the way down as well. Um, if you still need instructions, you can rewind them and show you how to finish it off here. It's just like we did on the last bracelet. So you're going to take your blue through all of the all of the bands. You're going to lift the first and the third band, and then the third from last and the last band. Then taking one last blue band through all six loops. So this is going to be this bracelet, and this oops, is going to be this bracelet. So as you can see, it looks fairly similar, but there are some differences between it and the variation. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Light Loomer's name in the description box below. Make sure to check him out on Instagram. Give him a follow for me. But that is all I'm going to have for this video. Vroom, vroom, loud cars. Um, that is all I'm going to have for this video. So I hope to see you guys next time.